I started learning Chinese martial arts almost 11 years ago. When I was 14 years old, I was diagnosed with a chronic illness. So my doctors told me I'd have to be on medicine for the rest of my life. And then I didn't like the idea of, I was already so young, and then they said you'd have to be on medicine your whole life. So I decided I wanted to change my lifestyle. So I began learning martial arts as a way to improve my overall health and conditioning. The style of martial arts that I practice, it's called the, um, it's from Shandong province. So it's called Shandong Taiji Tanglang. We combine the hardness of Tanglang with the softness of Tai Chi. So we work together to create a, we say, a soft and hard fighting stop where you can use your technique and your speed to overcome the stronger opponent. When you start learning Kung Fu or any martial art in general, when you're young, you want to fight with everybody because you have something to prove. But then as you get older, you, know, you don't want to fight with anyone anymore. You say, I have nothing to prove to anybody. And then people know you know Kung Fu now too, so then no one wants to fight you anymore either. The four major weapons, we say, are the staff, the spear, the sword, and then the saber. We always say, to learn the hand, it takes 100 days. To learn the saber, it takes 1,000 days. To learn the spear, it takes 10,000 days. And then to learn the sword, it takes the whole lifetime. So, say, uh, so at first, I didn't like it because the sword was, we say, it's very elegant and requires um, very soft wrist movements. I was very bad at that. But then, um, when I came to China the first time a few years ago, I, um, I discovered Jin Yong, and I started reading Shao Ao Jianghu. I liked the Ling Hu Chong a lot. So when I went back home to the States, I actually I started to fall in love with the sword again. So I asked my Shifu to spend more time teaching me the sword. So that's how actually I became uh, more fond of watching, of practicing with the sword. I think the most important thing is to realize that you shouldn't, you shouldn't try so hard to reach the end goal. You shouldn't tell yourself, okay, I want to just become a Kung Fu master. I think you should just enjoy the process of learning. If you try too hard to just become a Kung Fu master, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen overnight. So my tip for people is just have fun learning, have a, a good group of students to practice with, have good classmates, and just enjoy the process. It's, um, it's a lifetime learning process, so it's never going to end, but as long as you have fun, enjoy what you're doing, then you'll keep with it, and then you never give up.